Well, you know, solar eclipses happen almost every year, but total solar eclipses over certain parts of the world seldom happen. You can get to see the next one on April 8th. Uh, though Georgia is not in the path of totality, the Peach State should experience at least a partial eclipse. Freeha Bar spoke to an astronomy professor about how you can get a glimpse at history. Good morning, Freeha. Good morning. And Georgia isn't in the path of totality this year, but we still get to see a partial eclipse like they just said, according to a Georgia College and State University professor of astronomy. Donovan Domingue has always been a fan of the universe, and he's gravitated towards that since he was a kid. I was just one of those kids who liked the dinosaurs and I liked the planets and the stars. He was inspired by TV shows and movies growing up, including Star Wars and Star Trek. So it's safe to say astronomy was always his space jam. Seeing the science fiction characters out among the stars and just having those inspiring visions of the emptiness of space and saying, well, what, what, what are those stars really like? And um, what kind of places exist out there. It's also an understatement to say he's quite excited for the solar eclipse trek over North America in April. He's so fascinated he's been going to schools around central Georgia to talk to educators about how to teach their students about the eclipse, sharing solar eclipse glasses and tips for folks who can't get their hands on them. And so you can watch the progression of the eclipse just by shining the light of the sun through a colander onto the ground. Oh. You see the pattern of all the holes, but they all, all become crescent-shaped. Crescent-shaped for Central Georgians, who get to see a partial solar eclipse. Domingue is going to San Antonio, where he'll be in the path of totality, in the first U.S. state to experience the eclipse. And uh, Texas just turns out to be one of the better places to plan for, because traditionally it has the least cloud cover. No matter where you are on Earth, this eclipse is for sure going to be out of this world. If you want to see the partial eclipse and learn some more about it while it happens, you can join the viewing event on the Milledgeville campus of Georgia College and State University on April 8th. The partial eclipse should start around 1.30 until 3 p.m., then from 3.30 until 4, and that's when the moon is shifting away. So Domingue says you should be able to see the crescent shape for about an hour in central Georgia. Back to you. All right, thank you, Free. I'm looking forward to it. According to Domingue, the next solar eclipse over North America won't happen until 2045. It'll travel from California all the way to Florida.